So in this video, we're going to see how we can build a confidence interval from a worded problem. Um, the weights of the contents of boxes of a breakfast cereal can be assumed to be normally distributed with a mean mu grams and a standard deviation of 3 grams. OK, so let's write that down first. We've got it normally distributed with a mean mu and a standard deviation of 3. So that would be a variance then of 9. A random sample of 100 boxes, so n is 100, has a mean weight of 345 grams. So x bar is 345 grams. So this is the mean weight of the sample. Okay? This is the mean weight of the population that we don't know. Calculate a 95% confidence interval for the mean weight of boxes of this cereal. OK, so here's my distribution. Now, I need a 95% confidence interval. So between these two values, my z values, I need this to be 95%. So these two add up to 5%, so this bit must be 2.5%. So I can look up 97.5% to get that z value. So I'm looking on the table 2 here for 0 0.975, 97.5%, so 1.96. So that value there is 1.96, that's the Z value. So Z is 1.96 for what we need. And that value will be minus 1.96. OK. So the confidence interval will be... The mean, so if we write it down, x bar, take away z times sigma over root n, the standard error, and x bar plus z times sigma over root n, the standard error. That's, that's the formula we need to remember. So the mean is 3, 4, 5. Take away z, 1.96, times by sigma, uh, which is square root of 9, so 3 over root n, so that would be the square root of 100. And we've also got 3, 4, 5 plus 1.96 times 3 over the square root of 100. OK. So 3, 4, oh, 3, 4 5, take 1.96 times 3 over square root of 100 is 300 and 44.412 and if I change it to a plus rather than retyping it all we get 345.588 so we can be 95% confident um, that the true population mean uh, will lie between those two values. Not that there's a 95% chance, but that we can be 95% confident that it lies between those two values. Okay? And so that's how we can work out a confidence interval.